Welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, I will be playing Zebstrika, and as we can see here with the Lost Remover, Crushing Hammer, and Metal, that my opponent will be playing Durant. And unfortunately, looking at my hand, we're going to get stuck with a Zekrom EX start. So my oppo opponent will mulligan, and... I will obviously draw an extra card and I get a rescue, which with his lost remover in his hand uh, is obviously not going to be a very smart play. And then I will draw a Zekrom. So at this point, I know the only chance that I have to win, especially with that Zekrom EX stuck in play and not having a seeker or a super scoop up, is to try and get Zebstrika. So I'm going to go ahead and play level ball. And I imagine grab a Blitzel. And I will play him. Attach. Even though I know he has a crushing hammer, I don't really have a choice. I need to try and get a Zebstrika with two energy on it as quickly as possible. So I'm also hoping to draw into a switch because we're going to have to get rid of that Zekrom EX. So here I actually do get the Zebstrika and a second energy. I lay down the Sneasel just because um, it's another free retreater, and it could come in handy if I do get my lot going to get the Claw Snag with Weavile. So my opponent will go first, get a heads on his Crushing Hammer, and... Catch a metal and use a poke gear. And like every Durant player, he will get a collector. So we're going to be staring down a four ant devour on the first turn, unless he has one prized. So we see three, and all the Durants are here to play. So my opponent is set up on turn one, and I have a Zekrom EX, Blitzel, and a Weavile. So he's going to discard a Zebra, a Rescue, an Electric, and something else. I'm also going to lay down the Tynamo, because at this point I realize at some point I may need to use Electric to get two energy going. And with a switch, I could switch up Sneasel and then um, free retreat him out of there to get two lightning onto my zebra so i will go ahead and attach again catch out a durant without energy on it and my hand is looking pretty awful with nothing but a collector and a catcher so uh, i'm gonna need some top decks here so my opponent plays another poke gear and he plays a juniper to get rid of catcher lost remover lost remover at this point, he probably realizes I'm not going to play the rescues. And he gets a fresh hand of seven. So I would imagine he will get another metal energy. And he does get another heads on a crushing hammer. So we've lost two energy attachments so far. And he will go ahead and devour for four more. So there go the two rescues. I do get an electric. And it's a pretty dead hand if I'm honest. So I do decide to evolve and Dynamotor onto my zebra. And at this point I am banking on getting a switch. So I pull up another Durant and again, I'm gonna have to hope for an awesome top deck. So he's going to lay down Rotom, um, not sure if he is, oh, and my opponent gives me a fresh hand of six, so that's pretty huge. So I'm not sure if he's using Rotom, if he's going to use Mischievous Trick, or if he's going to try attacking with it, I'm not sure. But at this point, he actually ends us into the perfect hand. So even if he gets head on a Crushing Hammers, I have a Lightning in my hand, I can Dynamotor, and I have the switch, so I am ready to begin my lock. And 
My opponent attaches an Eviolite. And I'm not really sure what he could be doing here. And he finally gets a Tails on a Crushing Hammer, which is a pretty big relief. And I top deck into a Weavile, which is awesome because I'm going to get to take a look at his hand, and it's pretty awful. To revive a level ball and a junk arm, I have to pick something, so I just pick the junk arm just in case he does manage to break my lock. I go ahead and attach the lightning from my hand. Play a switch. Go into Zebstrika, and unfortunately, I am going to be stuck doing 20 damage with that Eviolite attached. But at this point, we've seen his hand. His hand is dead. He's going to have to top deck a Juniper um, or a Metal. A special Metal would actually be really good right now because then I could only do 10 a turn, which obviously isn't going to be good enough. But uh, that's, uh, that's what we were given, so I go ahead and disconnect 420, and he can no longer play item cards. And he gets nothing, and I'm just going to build up my hand. There's no reason to play things. I contemplate a copycat, but I figure it's going to be more useful in the future once he has a few more cards in his hand. So I just save it and disconnect for 20 more. And again, he must not have gotten anything, and I will just disconnect again. Now at this point, I definitely could have played Collector to get another Zebra and Level Ball to get that third Zebra Striker out of my deck before he devours it, but I... Eh, there's really not much he can do, so I just save my cards in case he ends me again. I'm not wasting cards, and I take my first prize. He's going to go ahead and promote a Rotom. And he does have access to a Twins, so he's going to have to grab an Energy and some type of Supporter. That's really his only hope, because he can't use items. So he's going to go ahead and attack with Rotom. Rotom's attack does 20 per Energy, and you get to pick your, oppo uh, your, um, your opponent. So he's going to do 40 to my Zebstrika, which has two Energy on it. And... At this point, I realize that he can, if he needs to, take me out. And this is where I make a misplay. So I'm going to play level ball and grab Blitzel. We can see the Zebstrika is still in the deck. But I really should have just collectored for the Zebra for the Blitzel and then used level ball for the Zebstrika. Because now I'm gambling that I'm going to be able to get that Zebstrika. So I go ahead and Dynamotor onto the Blitzel because I will need him. And I see he has 60, so if he had 50, I could use the plus power and get the knockout, but I'm going to have to settle for 40. But he's not devouring, and that really, that's the big thing. Alrighty, so my opponent plays an end, so I will get a fresh hand. And I have a decent sized deck, so let's see what we get. So Junk Arm's going to be pretty huge, because now I'll be able to get that level ball and get that Zeb Striker that I know is in my deck. We have a plus power and an energy search. That's just a one of in this deck. Um, you just, you never know when that one energy card is, is a pretty big deal. And it's Junk Armable, searchable, so I will disconnect for the knockout, but I just thought I'd explain why. On Earth, there would be an energy search in my deck. You also see Copycat with an item lock. Uh, your opponent's hand's going to be a little bigger, so I think there are two Copycats in here uh, as an alternate to Oak. And as we can see, my opponent has seven cards in his hand, so it does make sense. So I see he puts a second energy on Durant, and he actually does Vice Grip for 30 to knock me out. So he's banking on me not having access to another Zebstrika. Unfortunately, I have everything that I need. Could have promoted Weavile there, that probably would have made more sense, and then Dynamotored onto Zebstrika, but at this point, um, I don't see him breaking my lock again, because I'm going to be able to two-shot him, and uh, him three-shotting me just isn't going to do the trick. But it still would have been a better play, 
because I would have had one more card in my deck and that would have gotten one card out of my discard. So I go ahead and play the level ball. Play the level ball. Play the junk arm for the level ball. And when I played this match, I actually didn't notice there was a third Zeb Striker in my deck. Uh, recording this, obviously, we saw it a few turns ago. So I was a little bit nervous, but uh, everything is going to be fine. So yeah, I don't, don't know what I'm counting there, but I've got everything that I need. Doing a little math, I'm going to have to use this plus power because he's going to be able to do 40 the first turn and then 30 the second turn to knock it out. And then after that, we are fine because he's just going to have two Durants and I doubt he plays Flower Shop Lady. So he takes 40 damage and at this point the game is, as far as I'm concerned, pretty much done. Uh, if he tries to play Juniper, he could probably deck himself out before he decks me out. He probably doesn't play Flower, Flower Shop Lady because most Durant players don't. And we see him say good game. And that will do it.